What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. On today's Road Tuesday, my name is Josh Squeaky Marking, and today we're looking at Crabomble Garboder. Now, if you remember last week, last week on Monday, we talked about how we played against a Crabomble Garboder deck and expanded. And you know, I said, played and expanded. I bet it can work well in standard. So today we're looking at Crabomble Garboder in the standard form format to see is it actually can you actually use this deck or not and i think the answer is yes i think this deck does have a lot of uh it has a big sh a big shot in this standard format to do uh, well but if you don't know crabomable um 140 hp stage one and it has the attack gutsy hammer it does 80 but the downside is you do 10 damage to itself for each damage counter on it. So if there's 50 damage on Kerbomble, it then does 50 damage to itself, which is the downside. But we are playing cards like Max Potion, which show all the damage from the Kerbomble, but you have to discard your energies. We're playing three Acerola, which you put one card, one Pokemon back in your hand and keep, you just put one card, one Pokemon, all cards attached to you in your hand. Which means you can recycle your Kerbombles. And like I said, it's kind of like Galissapod, but we're using Kerbombles instead. It's a 90x attacker. It can do the same exact damage, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like a Galissapod does. So, um, yeah, it's just like Galissapod, but it's a 90x attacker that does it back to the same, same thing. Except you don't have to come out of the discard pile, and be, but you have a bigger downside. So, it's kind of weird, but it will work, I promise. Now, we are partnering with Garboder. Um, Garboder has that trash knife. It's just trash knife is just so broken. If you can play it in your deck, why not? And of course, playing the one Garbo Toxin to shut down abilities because it's still a really good factor in this game. Uh, playing a 4 4 and a 4 4 pretty just really just want to stay super consistent. One a ring for that struct, and I know it seems counterproductive because we do have the Garbo Toxin, but I'll, some rounds, you know. You know you're not using the Garbodor Garbotoxin, you can still get that at Ringaru. And even if you are, you can still get that at Ringaru. It's it's good still early game. And late game, if they like um field blower um in you, then you're good to go. Uh two Lele, of course, with the Wonder Tag to find a supporter card. And that's gonna be all the Pokemon to play in the deck. Fairly simple. We just have two attacks really. We have Gutsy Hammer and Trash Lynch. Uh but with these two strong attacks, these two strong non EX attacks, we're gonna be able to take some games. Uh, two max potions, like I said, to heal your Carbomble. Two rescue stretcher to get your Pokemon from your out of your to your hand or into the deck. Uh, two special charge to get back those special energies because we're only playing special energies, fighting and rainbow. Uh, two time ball. I'm just a big fan of time ball right now in evolution decks. It's really good. Uh, for ultra ball, I'm gonna play two Acerola or three Acerola. Sorry, two Bridget just to want to prize one. Uh, two Guzma, kind of want a third one, but we'll make it work. Uh, three in and four Sycamore. Um, I kind of want another end, but playing the four Flowstone, a three Choice Band really make things kind of weird. Um, you kind of need to hit that 120 damage just in case you, um, you like, if you can hit 80, then 120, you're usually going to knock on that combination. So I kind of want to make sure I can guarantee that with the Choice Bands, with, with strong energy, you have multiple outs to hit what you need. Uh, that's why we're playing three Choice Band and four Flowstone. The four Flowstone is definitely to retreat like Garboder. He's got a hefty retreat cost. Um, and especially for the the Garbotoxin Garboder. So we're playing a ton of Field Blowers, a ton of Flowstones. So, you know, Field Blowers not really going to work too much because we're going to constantly keep in Floatstones, we keep putting choice bands on our Garboders. There's so many ways to get tools on this Garboder Garbotoxin. The only way they can really handle it is knocking it out. Uh, before Strong Energy, your Fighting Pokemon do 20 more damage. And one, for Rainbow Energy, which counts as Fighting and as in uh, it's Psychic 2. So we basically have eight fighting energy, but only four psychic. But it's going to work, guys. I promise it's going to be okay. It's it, we're going to do good today. And today we're going to see can this Carbomble Garboda deck actually work or not? That's the big question. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, so putting against a Pokemon Trader. <gasps> What does he train? All right, so yes, we'll go. Oh, well, I mean, I was calling heads or tails, not um, deciding. Of course, you always want to go first. Uh, ooh, they're using the Anaheim sleeves. All right, so we get Double Crab Brawler, which is really good. That's who we kind of want to start with, but what is our opponent playing here? I do not know. All right, gotta get the Mulligan, and there's Mulligan number one. Ooh, some kind of energy retrieval deck. Maybe Tapu Bulu Vika Vault. That's the only thing I can really think of. Which is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll drop a mulligan. There's a fighting ener strong energy. Mew and a rim rate. Ooh, Passimian maybe? Um, if it's Passimian, this is actually going to be a very hard matchup. Because we're weak to Psychic. Uh, but they are going to play a bunch of item cards. So it will be interesting to see how this is going to go. Um, we also can get a Garboder in play to kind of help us out against that as well. 
Mm -hmm. What? What is happening right now? What are we playing against? All right, Matt. Okay, all right. So on our turn, what do we top deck? We top deck a max potion. Well, this is not a good hand. So I'm a Guzma. Bring out a Magnemite. Just kind of get stuck in the active spot. Put a strong energy on the bench and just pass. Unfortunately. I mean, we could go a Light Punch for 80 to knock out a Magnemite. Maybe knock out a Mew if we put Double Strong. Okay, so it's, it's not... We just need to touch a Sporter card. Realistically, that's what we need to do next turn. But let's see what our opponent does here. Now, we could have a good hand. And maybe he's like, alright, he has a good hand. Like, maybe he has a like Double Crab a Bomaller. Crab Bomallers? Crab Bomallers. I still don't know how to say the Pokemon's name. A light Energy to the Mew. Ultra Ball. Going to discard it in the Magna Zone. Alright, so some kind of Magnazone. I imagine he's playing Pikachu EX in his deck, which is good for us. Um, we hit for weakness, which is really nice. But if we get that Garbatux and Garboder, we shut down Magnazone, we shut down Mew. We see a uh, Lele. Gonna get a Wonder Tag. And gonna get that Sycamore, most likely. Yep, alright, Sycamore going into his hand, and we're gonna see Sycamore. Alright, does he find a. Uh, discards two ends. Oh, baby. He must... <laughs> Alright, but he... I mean, what can he attack with Mew, really? I guess he can go for, like, Energy Drive? Um, it does hit for Weakness now, so that, that'd be enough for Knockout, but... That's all really he can afford is an Energy Drive. He he can't really copy anybody else's attack. Uh, he has no Pikachu on the bench. So he's kind of put himself in a weird situation. They receive an Ultra Ball. I'm going to start two cards from his hand. And I wonder if he's going to get a Magna Zone out... Um, he discards a lightning and a and a field blower, which is good for us. There's an octillery, okay. He's gonna get the octillery. He's gonna be able to bisel hand for one. And does he have a rare candy magnazone waiting for us? He already discarded one magnazone. Alright. Oh, he's got that free treat. Duh. Oh my goodness, Josh. You big old dum dum. I forgot that sparkling induction has that. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're gonna see a knockout here. Wait, is he going for an encounter? Alright, so he's countering for a Lele, actually. Alright, this is actually fine for us. We get a strong energy. Still not what we want to see. But we got a Floatstone. We'll retreat into the Crab Brawler. Put a strong energy in the active. And we'll just go for Light Punch for 4, 6, 8. Taking a knockout. Going down to 5 price cards. Alright. And there's a Shrub. It's still not what we want to see. Uh, Alright, so we see the Mew coming up. If we top deck a Crab Brawler, we'll be able to take a knock on the Mew. Going down to 4. Um, but we really need to find something here. There's no supporter card and no Ultra Ball. There's a letter. Gonna get two lightning energies in their hand. But do they have a rare candy magna zone or not? Um, if they don't, then they really can't do anything. They Pikachu. I mean, this is actually pr probably a good matchup as long as we get set up here. All right, so two lightning energies going to his hand. Um, does he have the rare candy magna zone? Let's see here. We got the Trubbish we could put down for next turn as well. Maybe put a Flowstone on it. There's a Lightning Energy going to the Lele. Now the Lele is a good option. And we see another Lele coming down. And will we see an end or will we see a Sycamore? There's a bunch of cards in his hand. If he goes for Sycamore here, he's going to put himself in a bad situation. We do see an end coming down, which I think is the better play for sure. And we see an end. Kind of saving us, but our opponent could not afford another Sycamore, I imagine. There was a bunch of cards in his hand. And let's see, what five cards do we find? Uh, we find a Corbaba Mole. We uh, probably just... Okay, there's a Stretcher. He's going to get a Magnazone out, and he must have the Rare Candy Magnazone in his hand. Alright, so there we go. Rare Candy into the Magnazone. Does he have the necessary energies to attack this turn? He does have Free Treat, and there we see attachment to the Magnazone. 20, 40, 60, 80, which... I mean, top energy to top of Lele, sorry. Uh, which will be enough for the knockout. They receive Abyssal Hand, drawn two more cards, but we'll be able to put down the Crab Bobble Bowl. Um, how many item cards does Scarpa have? Two, three, four, five, six. He already has six in there. All right, and there's Energy Drive for the knockout, going down to five prize cards. So we'll send to the Crab Brawler on our turn. We get a Stretcher. Um, we'll play the Stretcher. Put a card. Permanent Crab into our hand. We'll put a Crab Brawler down. And we'll just bench the whole party. So one, two, three, and we're just going to go for a second more. Just discard your hand, draw on seven new cards. Looking for an energy to attack this turn, and we whiff it. So put down the Trubbish, play the Special Charge, getting two Strongs back in the deck. And right now we'll just pass. To take a knockout with Energy Drive, he needs uh, 
Uh, seven energies on Tapu Lele, which is not, it's not unthinkable, but it's going to be very, very difficult for my opponent to do. Yeah, if you put seven energies on Tapu Lele, that'd be pretty crazy. We don't have no, nothing to punish him, like a DC Lele of our own, um, but if he swings to the Crabobble, we'll be able to max potion it, which is really nice. There's two lightning just going to his hand. He's already played one, two, okay, so he's got four. If, if he finds three more, he'll be able to take a knockout with the Tapu Lele. Um, all right, so Fishman, going to put one in his hand. No, three in his hand. Oh, baby. All right, so uh, one thing he could do is attack with Mew this turn. Actually, I think he's enough for the knockout now. He's going to put seven on this Tapu Lele and be able to take a knockout this turn. Oh, boy. All right, there it goes. Just keep on loading them up there. Oh, baby. And he's got the seventh one. Yep, he's got all seven on this Tapu Lele. Going to energy drive for the knockout. Going down to four prize cards. Oh, my goodness. So, we'll set up the Craballer. Now, into our turn, what do we find? We find a another Craballer. So, put that down. A Crabobable, sorry. Put down Crabobable. And we're just going to second more. Just discard our hand. Draw on seven new cards. Just trying to look for an attack this turn. And we whiff again. So, put down the Trubbish. Put down the Garboder, and we'll have to pass. My opponent will be able to swing one more time, but let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, what we can do next turn is put a choice bin on the Garboder, put down another Garboder, sick more, I hope to find a Rainbow Energy and take a knockout on this Tapu Lele, going out of three prize cards. Will it work? I have no idea. Um, we'll find out here in a second. Garbota is going to punish his Magnezone deck, though, so that's really good to see. So we see a Skylog. Going to search his deck for an, a, an item card, trainer card, whatever he wants. Let's see what he decides to get here. Um, Garbota, though, is going to put a lot of hurt. Okay, there's a Guzma. All right, looks like he's going to switch somebody out. All right, no, just going to energy drive for the knockout. Okay, so energy drive, doing 140, going down to three. We'll send him Garbota. Just, we just need to find a Rainbow Energy. Okay, so put on the Garbota. Put a choice band on the active. We'll go for a Sycamore. We just need to dig and try to find a Rainbow Energy. And we find a Rainbow Energy. So put a Rainbow Energy active. We're going to Ultra Ball, discard the Bridget and the Acerola. And I'm going to grab a... The, oh, he's not in here. Okay, I'm going to grab another Cabrawler. I was looking for a Rangaroo. All right, so grab another Cabrawler. Put that guy down. And we'll go for Trash Lanch for the Knockout. So, taking the knockout, going out of three price cards. That's a good thing about us not playing an EX deck. Hey, there's a Ranguru and a Rainbow Energy. So, depending on who he attacks with, we could take a knockout no matter what. Since he sent it to Mew, I'm definitely going to go for the Crabobble play to take a knockout that way. Save and Garbota for the last knockout on a Tapu Lele, maybe a Pikachu EX. Um, he does have a Guzma in hand. Um, does he have an N? There's a Pikachu EX coming down to the field, which can help us win the game. Uh, it does have 130 HP, so it is easily knocked out by a Crabomable or a Garboder. Uh, there's a Magnetic Circuit. Going to put some energies on the Mew. I'm going to take a knockout this turn, going down to two, but we're going to be able to punish this Mew this turn. Uh, take a knockout with the Crabomable, and then hopefully take a knockout on the Mew Pikachu with somebody. Alright, so there's three going into the Mew. Alright, and uh, we're going to see a encounter for the Overspark. Uh, do it 150, knocking out the Garboder, Garbotoxin, not the Garbotoxin, the Trash Lynch one. Uh, Garbotoxin was unfortunately prized, I think, but Overspark taking the knockout, <laughs> going down to two prize cards, hitting for weakness, <laughs> doing 300 damage. Woo! Alright, so let's go. Grabobable. On our turn, what do we find? We find a Rainbow Energy. So we'll Choice Band the active. We'll put a Strong Energy, or Choice Band on the bench, sorry. Uh, fighting energy, a Rangaroo, and we will Gutsy Hammer for 100 damage. Chicken Knockout on that Mew, going down to two price cards, and as long as we find a Guzma, um, we should be good to go. Oh, but both Lele's are the discard pile, so that is going to be so much rough. Maybe should have, maybe should have got a Trubbish out last turn, uh, but who does he send up here? <laughs> no, the Magnemite doesn't have free treat anymore. If he puts down a meal, we can still punish him with Garboder and then Ultra Ball for another Trubbish. Uh, maybe a Rescue Stretcher, some Garboders and Trubbishes back in our deck. We've only played one Rainbow, so we have three of those left. Okay. So let's see. What does my opponent do here? Does he send to the Pikachu and swing that way? Um, Actually, okay, so Tapu Lele. Okay, Tapu Lele is fine here. 
We can still take a knock on the Layla if he does start to attack with it. There's a Mew coming down. Okay. All right. So we see Magnetic Circuit. Going to put some energies on that Mew. I think we're going to be one turn behind. All right. So energy on that guy. Unless we top deck a, a Guzma. <laughs> that is what we need. We need a Guzma top deck. So a Lightning Energy to the Mew. Does he have any more? He's already played two Fishmen. Uh, there's a Sycamore. Go and discard his hand. Draw, discard a bunch of stuff. Does he find one? If he does not find one, there's an the Energy Vault. Go put two in his hand. He needs some more, though. So Magnetic Circuit. Actually, he just needs those two because he can put two on the bench and one on the active for the knockout. All right. There's a... Actually, we have Stretcher. So as long as Guzma is in our discard pile, me and our deck, we win because we can just... Yeah, with Stretcher, Lele, bring up Pikachu, and win the game. Yep, as long as we have more Guzmas in our deck, which I think we should, uh, we should be A-OK -okay to win. So, Ultra Ball, he is discarding a billion things, and we should be easily be able to take this game. I just realized we have Stretcher for Lele, for Guzma in our deck, uh, which is why Stretcher is so good right now. Just give a care of those Lele's. But, gonna see Abyssal Hand, Retrieval. I'm gonna put a bunch of energies in his deck. Basically, what he's getting ready to do is take a knockout the following turn with Pikachu. Just gives me in and out of one. He's going to be ready to go. There's some more energies on the Pikachu. Uh, there's a billion item cards in this card pile. There's five just on the first page. There's weakness for a billion damage. But we'll be able to take this game just barely, barely getting lucky here. So on our turn, as long as our Guzmas are not prized, like I said, uh, we'll be good to go. So we'll timer ball first to see what's in our deck. Just to make sure I'm not crazy. All right, so heads and tails. Uh, we'll grab Carbomble and Guzma's in the deck. So yeah, we'll grab the Carbomble. All right, just just double making sure. That's one cool thing you can always do. Just make sure before you commit to 100% to a play. We'll stretcher. Uh, put a Pokemon from your discard pile in our hand. Grabbing the Tapu Lele. We will put down the Tapu Lele. Yes. We'll grab a Guzma. Ring with the Pikachu, put a uh, Rainbow Energy on the Garboder and taking a knockout on our boy Pikachu. So come here, boy. Come here. It's your boy Guzma. Get Pikachu. I choose you, Pikachu. Uh, put a Rainbow Energy on the active, and we'll be able to trash lands for the knockout. I don't know how much to do it, but it is doing plenty of damage. Dude, 290. And there we go. There's game number one with the uh, Magne against the Magnezone Pikachu deck, which is a very interesting concept. Uh, Magnezone is definitely a good card right now. Do not get me wrong. Do not sleep on do not sleep on Magnezone for sure. But guys, we'll see another game with the deck here in a second. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. All right, so playing against Max Hernandez, uh, playing a grass and fighting deck. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I'm curious. All right, so the Ho Hoopa coin. That Hoopa coin always looks so creepy. It uh, looks so creepy. It looks like it a little bit. Guys, you watch it yet? Such a good movie. If you're into scary movies, it's definitely good to watch. Um, but the choosing who goes first? They're gonna go first. Why would you not want to go first? All right, it's definitely a very heavy want to go first format. All right, so hand is not good. I mean, we we're basically we're just gonna end and help. I mean, we took like Bridget, then our hand is beautiful. Um, but outside of that, it's not it's not that good. Not, not that good. All right, but they're choosing who goes first, of course. Max. Oh, he's putting that Pokemon. Sorry. So Crabomable, I'm not Craballer. Sorry, Craballer, Crabomable, Crabomable, Craballer. So many different names. Press done, and uh, let's see what we get here. What do we get? So there's a Drompa. Drompa is really good because he's weak to fighting. Oh baby. Um, the only downside is he could knock us out turn two by using that Berserk attack. Don't even need any hurt benched Pokemon, which is very scary. Um. But with Choice Band and or Strong Energy, we can easily knock out this Drampa. So there's a Flowstone going to the active, okay. But it also is scary too, because Righteous Ish can discard the energies off our Kerbalers, or Kerbamals, whichever which way it goes. Okay, the Flowstone to the active. Um, a DC going to the active as well. All right, and there's an end. So hopefully with this end, we hit a Bridget or a Lele or something to help us set up and get more Kerbalers in play, because that is what we're going to need in this matchup. And there's a Lele, tr actually, uh, there's a Piplo come down. Coco. What is happening now? Retreat to Coco, okay. Pass on our turn. We're both weak. Do a Lele? Do we even Lele? Yeah, I think I still want a Lele. Well, Lele, yes. We'll search for Bridget. I don't know if it's 100% useful, but we're definitely going for Bridget right now. 
What does Empoleon do? Make it where he does more damage, right? So Bridget grabbing one, two, three. How many Kerbal? All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna grab four Kerbalers. Because it looks like they're gonna be MVP in this matchup. Put down the other Kerbaler, and we're just gonna pass right now. We have four Kerbalers on uh, Taranguru. We're ready to go places. Even if he finds the energy, um, we can take a knockout. What I'm kind of scared is if he has a DCE, he can go for Flying Flip and uh, put a lot of pressure on us because Kerbalum will actually will get punished by that Tapu Koko if he goes that way. But I'm hoping he just retreats to Trampa and Berserk and just takes a knockout. Then we send a Kerbalum, hit the Kerbalum, and take a knockout. We see a Flowstone going to Pip-Up. Okay. Um, does he have another in? He hasn't yet to seen our Trubbages, so he doesn't know we're playing Garboda. It's still a secret right now. Don't tell him either. There's a DC going to the active, and that is what I was scared of. And there's an end. Now, luckily, Tapu Koko is weak to fighting, so we can easily knock him out. But we're going to be hurting ourselves a good chunk of the bit. Uh, but we get two Cabrambles, which is really nice. We get a Floatstone, which I'm definitely just going to put in the Rangaroo right now. Uh, there's another Pipple coming down. This is like the Empoleon that does like more damage or something. I don't know. But we're gonna see Fly and Flip doing 20 to everybody. Yep, so Fly and Flip doing 20 to everybody. And it's Gutsy Hammer. It's gonna be very gutsy of us. We get a strong energy. What a top deck. Carbomable. Carbomable. Strong energy. Eight, nine. Actually, what I'm gonna do is Guzma up the Drampa. Send my own guy. But a strong energy. Bloodstone the Oranguru is struck for one. And I'm going to Gutsy Hammer for our 200 damage. Seems a little bit better. Uh, we get a Floatstone. We'll just Gutsy Hammer for 200. Okay. Just taking a little bit of knock out there. We do hit ourselves for 20, which is what I was kind of scared of. But we're taking two prize cards, getting an Ace Rolla and the Timer Ball. Now, the Ace Rolla could be really useful next turn because he's going to fly and flip, make it where we hit 60 damage on us. We don't immediately get knocked out. But we can Ace Rolla, heal the Kerbal, send up a new Kerbaler. Um, yeah, we can, do, we can do whatever. We're good. We're good. We're looking good right now. So there's a Rangaroo coming down. Okay. I actually just don't know what we're playing against. It's just like Pip-Up and like stuff. Stuff. All right. So DC onto the Rangaroo. Okay. There's a Field Blower getting the Floatstone off the bench. He is playing a bunch of item cards, but we don't have a Trubbish like really threatening anything right now. We only has two. Never mind. He hasn't played a lot. He's only played two. There's a Special Charge. So three. Okay. Putting the DC back in his deck. There's an instruct for one. Does a ringer help him? Or will it fail him? Looks like it is failed him, unfortunately. Um, might to see a fly and flip. We might see a concession here in a second. But either way, return to Grabamba is being really strong. There's a Sycamore discarding a Pincer and a Jirachi. It could have put down Jirachi. And Stardust is us. Don't know what's really happening, but we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna fly and flip. Uh, we wanted to put a bunch of pressure on the board again. Okay, on our turn. Okay. Uh, we get a Rainbow Energy. So we're gonna Ace Roll the active. Uh, we'll send in. That doesn't really matter. We're sending one, and they all have the same amount of damage. What we'll Timer Ball? Do we get two heads here? All right, we get one. So we get another Kerbomable out. We'll put down the Kerbomable, uh, put down the Kerbaler, uh, Flowstone on the Oringaroo again, put a Rainbow Energy in the active actually, and I'm going to go for a, uh, a Gutsy Hammer for the knockout. I want to see the Kerbomable for this one that's not even hurt, so 160, do it, hit herself for 50, and I'll take a knockout there. I guess I should have saved the Flowstone for the extra Kerbomable, so that way when we knock ourselves out, we can just retreat. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping he just like promotes the Oringaroo, attach the energy and Psychic for the knockout. Because that'd be fine. I'm fine with that play. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball. Gunners are two cards from his hand. Let's see what he decides to get here. Um, What card? Is this a Pokemon? What are we, what are we planning against right now? Prismatic Wave. Okay. Alright, there's a Mewtwo. Ooh, Mewtwo could be really good right now, actually. We really can't punish a Mewtwo. Uh, we could do Psychic, which will knock us out. And then he hits for weakness. So there's a DC going to the Mewtwo. Alright, here comes Mewtwo coming up. He'll be able to use that Psychic for a knockout here. Oh, baby. That's actually a really good play for our opponent. Um, yeah, so there's the end. Gets rid of our Carbomble and our Strong Energy. Okay. We might have a match here. I don't even know what we're playing against, but this Mewtwo could be very scary. Uh, there's a Strong Energy. Okay. 
Um, we still need a top deck, another Carbombable. Is a rare candy to Apollyon? I imagine what we're gonna see. Is this one that does more damage? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. We have ourselves a match, guys. There's a Brooklyn Hill, which will allow him to get a Fighting or a Water Pokemon. Imagine we'll see another Polion coming out. And yeah, imagine we'll see another Polion coming out. About to get really weird here, guys. How many energies? I mean, how many things has he played? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Right, he has six in there now. A ring for one. Hmm. All right, so Psychic for the knockout. He is doing plenty of damage thanks to that Empoleon. So he's doing 120 right now. Um, If we touch a Kerbala, then we're okay. If not, then we have a sticky situation. There's a choice pin. All right, so we'll... This guy, this thing, strong energy, and struck for two. Uh, We're not going to knock out this Mewtwo. Which is very unfortunate. There's a strong energy choice pan. Alright, so a strong energy oh, choice pan, a Trubbish. We'll retreat to Grabomable, and we will swing with a Gutsy Hammer for 80 damage. 100 damage, sorry. So 100 damage. Alright, so he has 30 HP left. Well, Trubbish can't knock him out with Acid Spray, unfortunately. <laughs> um, hmm, there's a Polion Break coming down. Oh my goodness. What have we stumbled upon, guys? I do not know. I'm kind of scared. Not going to lie to you. There's an end, which will actually help us out here because we have no attacker in our hand right now. Alright. Stronger to Guzma. Okay, special charge. Not what we want to see. There's another rare candy and two Apollyons. So he's got two Apollyons on the field. Oh my goodness. Apollyon coming back for vengeance saying, hey. <laughs> I'm in Polion, I'm here. Alright, so sh sh double choice band coming down. Are we going to see an instructor here? Yep, instruct for two. Alright, but I mean, right now, Garbodor is looking pretty scary. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. If we find a field blower, we'll have nine in the discard pile, which Garbodor will start doing a ton of damage. But we have to find a Garbodor. Alright, so Psychic for the knockout. Do it 160. And we're going to promote the Aringaru. It's the Battle of the Nani x decks. Alright, so in our turn, we get an Ultra Ball. Hmm. So I'm an Ultra Ball. This card is Strong Energy and a Guzma. I'm gonna grab a Tapu Lele here, if it's in the deck. So grab a Tapu Lele. Um, and we're just gonna go for Sycamore here. Yep, there's plenty of Sycamores in our deck. So yeah, we grab a Lele. We will Lele. Use it. We could have maybe just grabbed like a Crab Baller and done that way. That could have been okay as well. Uh, but we would have discarded this special charge. I kind of want to use the special charge to get back some energies in our deck. So we'll special charge, shuffling these. I'll oh, shuffle one and one. I rather want the rainbows. And we're struck for two. Okay. See, what do we find? There's a rainbow in the end. Oh boy. Oh man. Which one do we go for? We have more outs to draw on a Garboder. So I'm put a rainbow on the Trubbish, and I'm just going to go for Sycamore. Just hope we hit a Garboder. All right, we hit a Garboder, so that's good. So Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball and a Acerola. You grab the Garboder. Now Trash Lunch is about to do some, some damage here. We'll put down a Garboder. We will Timer Ball, come on, Tails and Tails. We will treat into the Garboder and we will Trash Lunch for the knockout. Uh, doing plenty of damage, he is weak. Uh, 100 and 280, going out of two. We find a Rescue Stretcher. Okay, that can at least get us some ground Carbomables back in our deck. Maybe Sycamore. Maybe just put one in our hand. It's not bad either. Probably listening to the Apollyon, but he does not have an attacker next turn unless he really wants to go in for a Psychic, which does not seem that very good right now. Um, psychic will definitely be a knockout. We have a Stretcher plus a Strong Energy knocking out. Uh, going out of three. There's a Stretcher of his own. Okay. Okay, there's this Mewtwo. Co oh, Mewtwo comeback. Mewtwo. Does he have another DCE? Come on. Do it. I bet you don't. Bet you won't. He's played three DC so far. Maybe he has a fourth DC in hand. That'd be crazy, right? be the craziest thing I've seen. No, not the craziest thing, but it'd be pretty out there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could knock out the Empoleon. We could knock out whoever we want to, which is really good. Uh, the only problem... Is we cannot knock out this Mewtwo if he knocks us out. We have both Guzmas and Discard Pile. Okay. 
Um, but I think we're still looking okay. I think we're fine here. All right, so there's a stretcher. Going to put one in his hand. He's playing way more out of cards. Uh, we just don't have room for another Trubbish right now. All right. Let's see. What does the stretcher get for my opponent? Is he going to shuffle three back into his deck? There's a Jirachi. Stardust could be very, very deadly here. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a Jirachi. Does he have the energy? There's a Sycamore. Go and discard a, uh, a Guzma and an, uh, a, a Ninja Boy. Does he find energy? He's only played the three DCE so far. We have yet to see another card, like a water energy, maybe a grass energy, maybe a lightning energy. I don't know what he's playing. Metal. Um, there's a... Oh, so he goes for the rainbow, only a Rangaroo, which a Psychic would not knock us out. He should have went for the Stardust play. Misplaced. Actually, he does knock us out. What? Six. Uh, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually a good play. All right, I forgot the uh, the good old Napoleons there saved him. But on to our turn. Uh, wow, yeah, that's a good card to put right there. All right, I'm gonna shuffle three back in the deck. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle the Trubbish, Garboder, and the Carbombable. Put a strong energy on the Carbombable, and we will just take more trying to hit a Trubbish here. And we find a Trubbish, fantastic. We will treat. Into the Krabobble. We'll put a choice bin on the Trubbish. Pull up Stone and Lele. And we will Gutsy Hammer. For the knockout, feeling kind of gutsy here. Alright, dude. 200 damage. Going down to one price card. There is a Stretcher. Alright. Um, stretcher really not going to guarantee us anything. What we really need to find is our last Rainbow Energy. Um, there is 19 cards in our deck, though. So it'd be kind of hard. But still... I think we're looking okay here. Here comes Empoleon onto our opponent's turn. Does he find his fourth DCE for his Mewtwo? <clears throat> and that could be really, really good for him. Uh, I mean, oh yeah, Psychic 20, uh, 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually, yeah, it will knock us out. It would do 160 exactly um, to knock us out. But we have Garboder. If we find the good old... Um, and there's an Ultra Ball. If we find a Rainbow DJ, we take a knockout. There's an Ultra Ball, putting more items in the discard pile. Just getting ready for our Garboder. But anything could happen. Um, nothing's really threatening a knockout on the Lele's, so that's good. He really doesn't have a big attacker that could damage him. If he goes for a Drampa here, it's like game over. There's a, a Zygarde. What, what are we playing against here? Oh my goodness. I am so intrigued right now. Everything just keeps changing. Every time he puts out another card, I'm like, what? What is this? <gasps> There's another card, and he just keeps putting out more and more stuff. I'm like, what is happening? All right, so a Lele coming down. Okay, he Ultra Ball for Zygarde. Going to use a Lele. What does he grab? What are we, what are we going to see here now? What are we going to see next, guys? Oh, man. All right. So let's see what the Lele gets from our opponent. He has 10 cards left in deck. A Sycamore would be somewhat useful. He could dig for it. Uh... An energy, but he only have three cards left, and there is a ninja boy. What is he? Ni what is happening right now? Oh my goodness, guys! I cannot make case. Okay, so there's a Drachi coming up. <laughs> we will see a start as happen this turn. There is a rainbow energy going to the active, gonna put some damage on that Drachi. We will see a start as here, uh, gonna discard a strong energy off the active Kerbobable. But after that, what can he do? I do not know. I'm definitely going to end. I think ending here is fine. Uh, we have plenty of Sycamores in our deck. We've only played the one or two. So we have two left overall. We will put down Garboder. We'll stretch it for another Carbombable. And we will see a Stardust. Uh, I'm going to discard that strong energy onto our turn. All right. So we get a Floatstone. So we'll put down the Garboder. We'll Floatstone the bench. Tapu Lele. We'll stretch her. Grabbing a Pokemon card. For a discard pile in our hand. Grabbing another Carbombable. All right. We'll put that guy down. And we're actually going to end. I don't want to put the strong energy down. I just want to end right now. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could have just held it. It's not a bad idea either. There's a Garboder coming in our hand. I mean, if we have energy, that'd be pretty funny. One well, struck for two. And there's Gay. Okay, that's not what we want to see. So we'll pass right now. Oh, boy. Three Pokemon. That's definitely not what you want to see out of our deck. But can he take a knock on here? No, not really. Unless he gets another pulling on out. That'd be pretty crazy to see. <laughs> another Empoleon. That'd be crazy. I mean, he's already played two. Who knows what's in his deck, man? We've seen some Zygarde action. We've seen some Magirna. We've seen some Drampa, some Orangaroo, Pinsir. Man, he's got the whole crew here. It's definitely like a toolbox 
Variant and Polion deck, which is very interesting. I'm glad we're playing against on this on Rogue Tuesday. It's like two Rogue decks going out against each other. Cannot complain at all. Uh, but right now, we're looking fantastic. That's all I gotta say. He can't really start us to discard energies. Um, his only option is really send a Tapu Lele and Energy Drive. <clears throat> That's his only, only way he can kind of like take a, a do anything. So there's a Lele. Let's see what the Lele gets for our opponent. Da, da, da. How many Ultra Balls have you played? Three Ultra Balls, two Tarn Balls, one Special Charge. Uh, okay. In left. We've got a Ninja Boy coming out for opponent again. Will this Ninja Boy grabs? Maybe a Zygarde will come out this turn? Yeah, Zygarde actually pretty cool to see. Um, He's played a Guzma, so there's a Ninja Boy. I imagine the active is going to turn to a Zygarde. All right, there it is. Zygarde coming down. This is his only real attacker that can kind of deal threats with Tapu Lele. Like I said, but Lampal's going to do 80 damage. Not taking the knockout curve. Bob is still surviving. And there's a Rainbow Energy. So right now, we are just going to pass. We're just going to pass. Look pretty. Smile. Say, hey, we don't have anything. Take a knockout. We don't have Rainbow Energy for Garboda for the knockout. Because he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 items in discard pile. There's an Ultra Ball. 14, 15, okay. Right now, Garboda's swinging for 300 damage. Don't tell him that, though. Keep it a secret. <laughs> uh, there's another, okay, the Jirachi. Not another Jirachi, the Jirachi. All right, coming down. And we're going to see a Lamp Pulse. Is the other card in his hand an N? If it is not, we have Rainbow Energy, and he's going to pass. I'm so confused right now. All right, we're going to pass two. Um, we have another Ace Roll in here, so Ace Roll can save us. Hey, I don't know what he's going for, because we have... Uh, he's going to deck out before us. That's all I gotta say. Unless he's digging for something. Alright. There's an in. I do not care about this in. What is happening right now? I... Okay, there's a Rainbow. Did you go into the active? Steel does not knock out Garboder. That is the threat right now that he needs to take care of. Is the Garboder. Pass it our turn. Okay. Get a Rainbow Energy. So we have two Rainbow Energy. So we'll pass again. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Alright. So this is a DC going to the active. Does he have a Guzma? Oh, he's got the Guzma. Bring it to the Garboder. Going to send the Polyon with the Floodstone. He will take a knockout here. All right, so here comes Zygarde. Going to swing for a Land's Wrath. All right. They take it, he is, my opponent is, did the correct play there. Kind of waited, just kind of sat there and waited, and they swung when he needed to. There's a Sycamore, so put a Trubbish down. We'll put a Rainbow Bridge in the Corbobble, and we'll play it in. He still really doesn't have a way to knock out a, a um, Tapu Lele, so we'll end here. There's a Garboder in our hand, which is good for next turn. All right, we'll retreat into Kerbobble. When struck for two, as long as we hit an energy, there's a Rainbow and a Fighting Energy, so we'll Gutsy Hammer. All right, doing 80 damage, 50 to ourselves. On to our opponent's turn. We have Garboder, we have a Rainbow Energy. We can take a knockout next turn. Does he have another Guzma? He's already played two. Whoa, 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 this game's getting closer than I thought. All right, uh, Land's Wrath with a Choice Band will actually take a knockout. 130, 50, 70. Um, actually, just a Guzma will do it. Yeah, if he's got a Guzma, he'll be able to Guzma up the top of Lele for the game. Oh, baby, does he have a third Guzma in his hand? He has four cards left in deck, three in hand. Does he have it? Oh, my goodness. You'll only see this on Rogue Tuesday, guys. Oh, my goodness. What is going to happen here? And a Cell Storm, which will guarantee us to win. And oh my goodness, that was such a close game. Oh my, eight, nine. We actually just went with Carl Bobble, but let's go in there. Come on, Garboda, show your true strength, buddy. We'll put down, oh, there's the Ace Roll in our deck too. We had the Ace Roll in there the whole time as well. We'll put the Rainbow Energy and we'll be able to Trash Lich for a billion damage. I don't know how much we're doing, but we are doing enough. Uh, we're doing 300 exactly. And there we go, guys. There's the Garboda, uh, Carl Bobble deck. But man, can we see our opponent's deck? Please, Pokemon, let us see our opponent's deck. Oh, we can see our opponent's deck, guys. Here you go. Here is our opponent's deck. 3-3 three, three, and pull it. I know everybody wants to see this. 
One Mewtwo, one Pinsir, one Draji, one Zygarde, one Magirna, one Magirna, one Arangaroom, oh, Terminator GX, oh my goodness, Coco, two Lele's, a Necrozma, a Drampa, the only you'll only see this on Road Tuesday, what, are, what is this, Empoleon, oh my goodness, this is something we've never seen before, oh my goodness, Forer Candy, um, Field Blower, here you go guys, here is this deck list, if you want to test this deck out, there you go, oh, he only played two Guzmas, we're, we're safe, but he did play four choice band. Oh my goodness. Uh, four rainbow, four DC, and there we go, guys. There is my opponent's deck. I know some people want to see this, and there we go. You're getting, you're getting a chance to see this crazy Empoleon and Franz deck. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, there we go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Rogue Tuesday, seeing a cur crazy Kerbumble, um Garbodin deck. Blanny gets this crazy Empoleon deck. Man, we have some good games here. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye.